OK, this is something really special for everybody today. Over the last 24 hours, Fox News has become a nexus, an epicenter, almost like a central clearinghouse of election disinformation. And what makes it all the funnier is that on one hand, Donald Trump is furious with Fox News because their so-called news side admits and accepts that Joe Biden won the election. Uh, Donald Trump is mad at Fox News for calling Arizona for Joe Biden. So as I told you yesterday, Trump, instead of tweeting Fox News content, has been tweeting a lot of Newsmax content, which is sort of like a low rent Fox News. On the other hand, if you tune into the nighttime uh, Fox News programs, the so-called opinion shows, although, you know, the difference between Fox News and opinion at this point is, is pretty blurry. The nighttime shows on Fox continue to pretend, as a matter of fact, that this election was stolen by Joe Biden. They are bringing on every last grifter that they can find. And we're going to look at some examples. And I what I the the framing I want you to keep in mind as you watch this is. When people in other countries see this, they think we're out of our minds. OK, this is crazy that this is going on on one of the three major cable networks in the United States. And I am aware that watching this stuff is not great for your brain. And um, to, to, to make a really serious point, I'm going to play short clips because this stuff is crazy and it's really bad for you. But remember, many Americans get their news exclusively from Fox News. They see this and they see no alternative to it was stolen. And they think it's serious. So let's start with Donald Trump's press secretary, Kaylee McKenney, almost a meme at this point, holding up pieces of paper. We don't know what the hell they are as proof of fraud. Did Sean, uh, we keep hearing the drumbeat of where is the evidence right here, Sean, 234 pages of sworn affidavits. These are a defiant and principled Kaylee McKenney holds up a ream. <laughs> A ream of paper. Here is Republican Congressman Matt Gates, recently recovered from coronavirus. He's the guy who laughed off coronavirus by wearing a gas mask on the House floor back in might have been March or something like that. He says he has sources, guys, and the sources are telling him really, really bad things. Well, in Washington, it is even worse than your reporting. My sources are telling me that part of the Biden transition plan would be making permanent these coronavirus changes to the voting process. Now, I have to tell you, I actually hope Matt Gates is, is correct. Matt Gates is saying, oh, no, Joe Biden might try to make it easier to vote by mail forever, not just when there is a pandemic. I hope Biden does do that. What this uh, election has proven is when you expand vote by mail, it doesn't cause fraud. It leads to voting. That's what happens when you expand vote by mail. We should have expanded vote by mail forever as well as expanded early voting. I hope Matt Gates is right in what he's saying. Here's Sean Hannity wrapping up about four to five different conspiracy theories into a pretzel and claiming they all prove that, of course, this election was stolen from Joe Biden. Of lies and conspiracy theories, the Russia hoax, Hillary's dirty dossier, FISA abuse, lying to a FISA court, spying on a presidential candidate and a president, fake polls, fake news, fake everything. And then here is Secretary of State Mike Pompeo showing up to talk about this election as if it's not over and as, as if Donald Trump might still win. Proud of the, the work that the entire team that the president has had for my four years has accomplished. I'm hopeful we'll have more time to continue to work to keep Americans safe. Hopefully we'll have more time to keep Americans safe. Trump lost, dude. What are you talking about? And of course, Mike Pompeo also made a statement to press yesterday that there will be a smooth transition into a second Trump administration. We covered that early. We don't know if Mike uh, if Mike Pompeo really believes this stuff or if he feels obligated to say this stuff. We don't know. It's bad either way. And then here's RNC chairwoman Ronna McDaniel claiming that the media have stolen the truth by not reporting on their completely baseless voter fraud claims. 
And the media right now, by refusing to report on this, is stealing our faith in the election process. Tell the story. Talk about the people who are being disenfranchised. People across this country deserve to have election integrity, faith in our election system, and believe that there is election integrity. And that's why the RNC is going to pursue this to the very end. We can never let this happen again. And lastly, Ted Cruz was on and he actually Ted Cruz hilariously sort of stumbled onto the truth about this situation. Take a listen. One of the frustrating things as a citizen, you see all these tweets going back and forth. You see allegations of this happened, that happened. It, it's hard to know. It's hard for anyone to know. All right. Is this true? What's true? I, the only way to know is, is we have a legal process. We have state courts. We have federal courts that can hear legal claims. And, and right now, it is incumbent on the Trump campaign's lawyers to go in and prove their case in court, to lay out evidence, to lay out evidence of illegally cast votes, to lay out evidence of what was done right, what was done wrong. And when the process is over, we're going to know the result. But we need to let the process play out. And, and much of the mainstream media doesn't want to let us do that. So Ted Cruz is actually hear me out. OK, Ted Cruz is actually right. There is a process for adjudicating these claims. And step one of the process is you have to present evidence to courts where Ted Cruz is wrong is that the media doesn't want that to happen. The reality is courts keep looking at the claims of fraud and they're finding them completely without merit. So the process doesn't continue. The media is not stopping the process. The media is asking questions like, do you have specific evidence of illegal or fraudulent votes? And when that question was put to, for example, Kaylee McKenney two days ago, RNC chairwoman Ronna McDaniel two days ago, they said a lot, but they didn't say, yes, we have actual evidence of specific illegal or fraudulent votes. And that's why this isn't moving forward in courts. It's not because the media is interfering, but the complaints being brought to court are being found to lack merit. And so they aren't going forward. But again, this is how Fox News creates an alternate reality. You tell your audience everybody else is lying to you. Everybody else is biased to the left to encourage people to discount or even ideally not watch anything other than Fox News. You fill the Fox News evening echo chamber with Laura Ingram had a, a so-called witness last night who refused to be identified. It was like a blacked out shadow beyond parody after they spent four years saying any anonymous source isn't OK. They're putting up witnesses that are blacked out in shadow. They're making claims that the media don't allow this to move forward. And if you only get your news from Fox News, you end up believing this stuff. It's a, I've used the term mind virus several times lately. Trumpism is a mind virus. The Fox News narrative, if it infects you, is also a mind virus. And uh, we we can't just write them off because they vote. I get it. The instinct is you laugh it off and you move on. But we can't because they do vote. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. One of the things I make a priority on the show is not to perpetuate stigma for things that don't deserve it. We've talked about mental health. We've talked about many things where we should all just be respectful adults, period, and we would be better off. And Blue Chew can increase performance and give you that extra confidence you may be looking for. Bluechew.com, blue like the color blue, is the first chewable with the same FDA approved ingredient as in Viagra and Cialis. It can be taken day or night, even on a full stomach, since it's chewable. Blue Chew is prescribed online by licensed doctors. You don't have to go to a doctor's office. You don't have to wait in line at a pharmacy. It ships right to your door in a discreet package. They're made in the USA. And since Blue Chew prepares and ships direct, it's cheaper than a pharmacy. And best of all, no more awkwardness. We've got a special deal for our viewers and listeners. Go to bluechew.com. Get your first shipment free when you use our promo code Pacman. That's P A K M A N. Pay just five dollars shipping. That's B L U E chew.com. Promo code Pacman to try it totally free. Blue Chew is the better, cheaper, faster choice. And we thank them for sponsoring the David Pacman show.